What up, tubers? JT here. So I haven't made a video in a while. Been kind of busy. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm making it up today. I'm gonna try and do three videos today. Um. Yeah. In this one, I'm going to show you a. Let's see, we're going to do, I'm going to tape a video tip and trick episode, I'm going to tape this one, which is, uh, well, yeah, it's a web, well, you'll see. And then I'm also going to do a smart board tutorial on Smart Notebook 10 and how to create a lesson in Smart Notebook, which actually I think I'll make that this video. Yeah, this video will be on Smart Notebook 10 and how to make a lesson on a heart interactive for your students. How do we do this? We'll find out. Shall we? Okay, now I need an intro here. Oh, I know. I'll use this new one. Okay, we are going to start part one of four Smart Notebook um, Lesson Activity Toolkit videos. So first thing you need to do is open up your Smart Notebook software, which I should have been more prepared and open this. This is Notebook 10, which you can get off of Smartboard's website, www.smarttech.com. Okay. And before we go on, I must say I am not affiliated with Smart Tech. I just know how to use the software. I've used smart boards oh a long time, not only in my classroom that I tutor in, but in my actual school I help teachers use these. So I've learned how to use the software over the years. So let's get started. Okay, if we go down to the gallery, which is right here on notebook ten. We're gonna go lesson activity toolkit one point oh pages, title pages, then we're going to expand this menu that says notebook file, notebook files, and pages. Okay, once we've expanded the tab, we can see that there are all these different colors. We have blue, green, orange, purple, and red. Um, I'm just going to say this right now. Never use the ones over on the right. Always use the ones on the left. These ones I've had issues with. I like these ones on the left. So let's go ahead and use, just pick a color, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to use red, since it makes me think of blood. Okay, and then you just click to get rid of that window. And if it doesn't go away, you need to make sure this auto hide is checked. I accidentally unchecked it, and I'm like, uh-oh, it's not going away. Why is it not going away? And then I look down and I'm like, oh, it's not checked. And it has to be checked for it to auto-hide when you click off of it. So now we're going to type in the heart. And we're going to start typing in learning objectives. My first learning objective is going to be students will label a diagram of the heart. And then my second learning objective is going to get highlighted. Students will understand the function as well as the use as well. Understand the function of the heart. Okay. Let's go ahead and click on teacher's notes. And we're going to start filling this in. So our subject, science. Our topic is anatomy, grade 10. Cross-curricular links. This could cross-curriculate into our cells unit or our blood cells unit. Okay, prior knowledge. 
I'm going to say they do need to know some stuff about cells. And then intended learning outcomes, you've already typed them in, so don't bother with that. And notice how I got to skip title? It's already done, because we got to type that in on this front page. And to go back, you just click back. Let's go on to the next page. Um, okay, so once here, we're going to go into our gallery again. This time we're going to go back to the Lesson Activity Toolkit. We're going to click Lesson Pages. And now we're going to pick the red title bar. But we don't... Now this time you're going to want the one on the right. So just drag that in. You can change the text to Labeling the Heart. Once you've labeled your title bar, go back to your gallery, and in your search box, type in heart, H-E-A, whoa, what just happened? There we go. Okay, heart, pictures and related backgrounds, you're going to scroll, and find heart 2, drag that into your lesson, control K, to lock that down, take your arrow, and go ahead and drag these on. So it looks like it's an actual diagram, even though it's really not. <laughs> okay, so now you've got this. Now go back to your gallery. Back to the Lesson Activity Toolkit. You can collapse the pages. Now we're going to go under Tools, Tools, and we're going to expand this window. The second one is the checker tool, which is the one I'm looking for. You can collapse out of the gallery now. I'm going to shrink it down so it's the size I want. Which is about that. Size is fine. If it sounds like I'm sniffling a lot, my nose is running a lot, and it won't stop, and it's driving me crazy. So now I'll go right-click clone. Actually, don't do it yet. Now drag that into place. Do it again. Clone. Drag that one into place. Clone. Okay, so now let's go over here and start typing in answers. So the first answer is Vena. V-E-N-A-C-A-R-V-A. -A -A. No case sensitivity. And you're just going to do that for all of these. So you're going to figure what they are. So this is the right. I know my HMs are a little off on some of these, but on the left side, but this is the left ventricle. Okay. This one is your, come on, there we go. Left atrium. No one. Then this is your aorta, way up here. And just check this one, make sure I didn't do an N. Then down here, let's go back into our gallery. And as I said earlier, this is going to be a couple parts, because obviously these do take a while to make the pages. Go under Graphics, Boxes, and then scroll down, or if it's your blue that you're looking for, it's going to be right on the top. But mine's red, so it's going to be kind of scrolling down. We're going to drag in this box right here. This is the activity box. This will kind of serve as our word bank. So we're going to type aorta. We're going to drag that right into our box. We're going to make it bigger. Vena carva. Vena carva. Let's go ahead and make big. But you guys get the idea. Right atrium, aorta, or vena, no, left ventricle. I totally spelled that wrong. Okay, this is obviously going to have to be a couple parts, but I'm already over 10 minutes, so I'm kind of hoping that I can finish this up kind of quickly. 
or maybe edit a little bit in post and then the last one left left atrium now the last step is to highlight all the words control or don't control the click on the arrow infinite cloner that so when a student comes and drags a word they don't actually drag the original they'll just drag a copy so then when they drag the word into the correct spot so if we take load ventricle and we drag it in there it will say good job that's it it's jumpy um it's because i've edited this because i'm at 11:31 and i can only be 10 minutes long so i'll be editing right now so i'll see you in part 2 bye